there's a dragon at my school. This is today's story. It is a lift the flap book. So I'm going to have, have to be turning some pages here. It was written by Philip Hawthorne and it was illustrated by Stephen Cartwright. So here's our boy and our girl and our dragon in between. Dragon at my school. There's a dragon at my school and he's broken every rule. Oh dear, what's he done? So let's look and see what he's done. Burp. Oh my goodness, he ate all the books. He has a big bite out of each of them. Books are for reading. There's a dragon at my school, and he's broken every rule. Can you guess what he's done now? So it looks like they all have on art smocks. Oh, and let's see. Plop. Oh my goodness. So here's our art closet with all the paints spilled over. And look at the paper coming down. It's always important to keep our art supplies really nice and neat so we can always find it. There's a dragon at my school and he's broken every rule. What has he done with the sand? So here's the sand, the sandbox. And let's see, I think our flap is over here at the piano. Oh, my flap is sticky. Oh my goodness, plunk. He put all the sand from the sandbox into the piano. The dragon. There's a dragon at my school and he's broken every rule. Uh-oh, where's our ball? So let's look, I think, here's my flap. Let's see. So that sound means he let all the air out. So it looks like he took a bite out of all of the balls. That's the air escaping. Can't play a, a ball without a round ball. There's a dragon at my school and he's broken every rule. Oh no! What happened to our lunch? So here are their lunch boxes, but they're empty. So let's see what's behind the flap. Yum, yum. Oh, so it looks like our, dine, or, um, our dragon ate all the food. It looks like we have some apples and bananas, some orange peels. They were really healthy lunches too. There's a dragon at my school and he's broken every rule. Help, where's the towel? And the toilet paper. So there's no hand towel to dry your hands. And it looks like there's nothing to wipe with either. So let's see what he did. Glug. So he put the hand towel and the toilet paper and tried to flush it all. You know, need a plunger to get all of that out. There's a dragon at my school, and he has broken every rule. Oh, where's he gone? So it looks like the door's open. Teacher says, oh, so now there's another door. I've got to take him home now. So it looks like he's being told to go home. So he put on his hat and his scarf which means it's probably cold outside. Oh, and then she says, but I can bring him back tomorrow if he promises to be good. So if the dragon promises to be good, he can come back to school. It's important to follow the rules when you're at school. It's how we keep everybody safe and it's how we keep our classroom clean. And when it's clean, we feel better. So thank you and follow the rules. Bye.